Modern media is terrible and you know it. When I was about to start it, I had a certain hesitation in watching Klaus. When it came out, it looked interesting to me, but I didn't watch it. By the time I did, media had long become a minefield for terrible ideas, so I was wary when it came to watching anything new. It not only turned out good, but it was pretty amazing. The movie was the definition of wholesome. You shall be surprised with this review because I don't often talk in terms of feelings because feelings are for women, children and the gays. Klaus has some nice life lessons and cute family moments. You would think the children characters would be annoying, but no, they're wholesome too. However, before going to the actual movie, let's discuss the art style. The SPS studio in Madrid starts by drawing and coloring with really flat colors. What gives the 3D effect is the lighting that's generated by an AI and then retouched by hand. The light moves with the characters. There's also texturing on top of everything to give more volume to characters and objects. Now that this part is out of the way, we can focus on the actual story. I often talk about how media often carries a message. If something is in your work, it's rarely by accident. Modern movies often try to shove in contemporary values that break down people and their relationships. If you can put your politics everywhere, you make sure that no one has peace nor harmony. Therefore, the class division can come about. Here, it's quite the contrary. The movie has good life lessons and is more traditional. If modern movies feel like the coming of a blue mindset, you could say that this is red and by red, I mean just fucking normal. Jasper is a rich kid who has everything gifted to him in life and as a result is extremely lazy and entitled. His father, wanting his son to make something of himself, gives him the challenge of starting a postal office in a remote location and to adhere to a certain quota or risk getting cut off from the family fortune. The only thing missing is to tell him to get off his ass to the gym and start going on that grind set, the latter of which he does. You might be wondering who Jasper is and what the fuck he has to do with Santa Claus. Well, the movie is sort of an origin story, a more realistic take on it. Although there are hints of fantastical elements, but I don't want to say too much. It gives a context to the different elements associated with the character. Hercules starting the rock tried something similar but failed. It tried to kill the magic. Here it lets it happen and the realism is brought upon with obvious but clever humor. You can figure out how a man managing a postal office can mix with the mythos of Santa Claus. I actually had a couple of chuckles during the movie and some laugh out loud moments. It's well written and acted. J.K. Simmons is here. He barely speaks at first but does more as Claus gets more open to others. It's subtle, but you notice the growth by how much he talks in contrast to the beginning. Margu, the Sammy girl, is also a highlight. Rarely have I enjoyed so much a character I can't understand. I felt genuine warmth in my heart and feelings. It was awful, because I know it to be only a brief respite into the decadence of a late stage society. There are many great things in this life, but we sure do not fight for them. All in all, Klaus is a great movie and a good watch for the holidays. For once, there's something that's worth your time, so why not recommend it? Go watch it with family and friends next to a good warm fire.